hi guys good morning welcome back to talk with sonia i know you guys haven't seen me forever i know i've had my baby so motherhood has been kicking my butt so that's why you haven't seen me the whole pregnancy journey was it was it was something else so so this today i just want to talk about my pregnancy and um and my birth story so let's round it all up so i think this first part i'm gonna have this video in three parts or yeah in three parts the first part is going to be pregnancy journey the second part is going to be my birth story and then the third part is going to be um life um as a new mom again for the second time so let's get to the first part of the story so if you watch this first part make sure to go to the next video for the second part and then the last video for the third part of the story so let's start with the first part which is my pregnancy journey obviously so um so my pregnancy journey was it was pretty should i say it was rough my son by the way but i had the baby boy his name is kyra and the reason why i gave him that name people were like why did you name him kyra why did you name him kyra because the name means um victorious a vanquisher or a conqueror like if you know in the past days only like fighters or these um people like Usman and Fodio, people that are proper conquerors i just use that because he's a nigerian um he's um like west african so i use people like those are people that conquer towns cities they're the ones they give names like Cairo because they are vanquishers they are conquerors so that's why i named him that so when i got pregnant i did, i told you guys that i knew i was pregnant but like I did not know but like i had this something about me is god speak to me through dreams so before i got pregnant i had a dream like i went to a school and i saw a little boy and i asked him uh, where's your sister and then he pointed at gracie to me so when i woke up i knew that what that dream meant it was it meant i was going to have a baby boy i had a similar dream too when i was pregnant with gracie i was coming down from a staircase and i and i held a girl and i i saw like an old friend and i introduced i said this is my daughter like two three weeks after i discovered i was pregnant so when my baby was coming, i knew it was a girl because the god had shown me that i was having a girl and this is a similar thing when i saw him i was like where's your sister and he showed me Gracie, so i just knew Gracie is going to have a brother so that's why i knew i was pregnant but i hadn't confirmed and the symptoms and everything so that's why i said when i said the last video that i knew i was pregnant that was what i meant so god always showed me what i was having so there was never a question of what's the sex of the baby um when is baby um will i get pregnant i knew because god always shows me stuff like that so when i got pregnant when i before then i was on antibiotics and all of that so when i saw the dream i think i was still in denial i was like go for me go for me so, <laughs> because i didn't want to have any baby to my i think i was like my daughter has to be four or five years old because i cannot deal with pregnancy stress and i still kept on taking the antibiotics because i mean it's not been confirmed but um after some time when i did confirm i had to get off the antibiotics because i was having i had um, this there was a stomach um was it called i can't remember but i was on antibiotics for it my stomach had some underlying i can't remember what it's called right now in the video maybe i'll add it uh -huh. so i um sorry <laughs> mommy brain um okay so i stopped the antibiotics and then i kept going um then i confirmed the pregnancy and so at i think at eight weeks i started bleeding I was bleeding profusely like i don't know if i've told you guys before but before i got pregnant with gracie i lost a set of twin at 14 weeks so it all started with the bleeding and the cramps so i started cramping and bleeding profusely again and so i knew that something was wrong i was scared i said am i gonna have a miscarriage again in as much as i didn't want a baby i didn't want to lose a baby either so um i went to the hospital in lagos and they told me that i was having a miscarriage and um it's best for them to evacuate the pregnancy which was what they did the first time around they evacuated the pregnancy so basically it's almost like an abortion but it's not an abortion because it was not done like because i wanted to remove a baby it was because of my like so baby was already going on its own and even they were shrinking in the sense that 
at um eight at because okay the, the time they told me to evacuate was when the building didn't stop at 10 weeks sorry and the baby was looking at like as if it was like six weeks old in the scam it was it was already shed, shredding or something like that so i was planning to do the evacuation it, it was sad but i felt like oh it's god's real and my mom i think around that time was my mom's birthday and she said no 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 it's not going to happen that um me and her we're going to get go to worry and then we're going to see other doctors get other opinions because she felt like that's what i should have done the last time she told me more than like four times i think we should have seen another doctor we should have gotten another opinion we can't just take you remove pregnancy because they said that the baby's leaving so because the bleeding and the pains the cramping wasn't stopping so when we um so i followed my mom back to worry from lagos and when we saw another doctor it was still the same opinion so i know this is this is a disclaimer to say that please i'm begging you people i did not say that you should go to traditional houses uh -huh. so we went to all this in in worry here they call them people that rob and all these women they have the way they rob that's how they call it so we went to one of those my mom said we should go there that's what most of my um my aunties my mom that's what all those people in their time that's what they used instead of hospitals even till now people are still giving better so when they and the woman the lady confirmed there's a way they just hold you hold the vein close to your lap and she just held it and she, she confirmed that fine this pregnancy this baby's in distress however that i should not listen to the hospital that she can carry it up me i was you know me i was born in this generation a new after generation i'm like i beg if a doctor said baby don't go there's nothing anybody can do let's well i was very skeptical i was like nah do myself she gave me she there's this traditional leave and they spat it all over me and then she rubbed some chalk like thing afterwards because it was not a one day thing it was a continuous treatment process and then she gave me some herbs to drink and then the, i'll be going she'll be massaging and there's a vein close to my um privates that she used to hold and drag that thing is very painful i should keep dragging she, she's positioning the baby back me i was thinking that all these things i hope i will not have a deformed baby you understand because all these things they are drinking spitting what if okay fine the baby now um uh, uh maybe the blood the bleeding like half of the baby has gone and uh all these things what what, what would then what am i fighting for to have an half a half baby or a different baby and my mom was like just be positive everything will come out well and all of that so that's what i did i was positive and I did all the things that she needed i just said i just said what's the worst that can happen they've already said the pregnancy is gone and i should evacuate it the what's left of the baby because it was so small in the scan so after everything she told me that she let me know when i'll get go to the hospital and then i should do a scan and i'll confirm that everything is the baby is still there so i went to the hospital there and the doctor checked uh, they said uh baby is fine the movement everything is showing normal this was this whole baby this whole this child life is a testimony so this was where two different hospitals in lagos and one hospital where we have said they should evacuate this is the baby pregnancy is a miscarriage already so i when, when we went to um the hospital but what what they told me was I needed my body did not pro, does not they told me this in graces as, as well does not produce enough progesterone to carry a baby so they had to be giving me synthetic progesterone that was that's man-made progesterone so that was also something that helped me get to um i think they stopped that at i can't remember but i know they stopped it at some point i didn't use it to the whole full time of pregnancy so we decided putting me on progesterone i had to be on bed rest i can't just be jumping and doing everything because we are looking at a very fragile pregnancy here so after um, some time you know i was on bed rest in the hospital they were just even like all the time they were doing the traditional plus everything i was still bleeding on you know, just sometimes to be small small then all of a sudden the bleeding stopped and i was still having like bad pains in my stomach really bad pains and the bleeding and then the pain stopped the, um, the bleeding stopped then i started showing little by little so that that was when we like confirmed that fine this is a stable pregnancy i did i think at 20 weeks i did a scan and my baby was like healthy the the um the sex was confirmed that it was a boy everything was normal like it was now like a regular pregnancy with no complications and yeah. so i went that even regardless of that i was so very careful i didn't jump around and even though i was clear from bed rest but 
the whole time I was sick. This whole pregnancy, beginning to end, I was sick. The last time I made the video was when I started showing and I was fine and everything, but I was still very sick. There was no breather, there was no break from if I have two days where I'm not okay, where I'm okay, I'm back to the hospital again. I was sick. I was always going to the hospital. I was always sick. I think up till 26 or 28 weeks when I now registered, um, I think I, I get better West End in worry because I wasn't worried about through the pregnancy. I needed to be with my mom. I needed to be taken care of all through because there was no point in my life where I needed to go to back to face the stress of Lagos and start um, taking care of Gracie because by myself and taking care of my husband and all of that it was it's just and I know my husband because of work and everything there's no way he'd be able to like properly care for me so I was in worry throughout my pregnancy so until uh, so I registered with West End Hospital in worry I was completely um fine to, like I was uh, I was on treatment till I registered at West, West End Hospital in worry and then that's when I I was now preparing to give birth with a new doctor. I wanted, I wanted a doctor like that didn't have any idea of what happened prior to then, because I wanted to get like a new opinion on how things were. So then I, that was why I went there, but I didn't realize I was going to like the hospital. So I just decided to give birth there. So yeah, that is my pregnancy journey story. It was not easy at all. It was. Difficult as in words cannot put in how tough it was. I was sick, I was in pain 247. My 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 chest hurts, my my ribs hurts, my leg hurts. I was constantly going to rub though. Uh, it was only the time that I rubbed that I used to get relieved. Oh, before I forget, my baby, oh my god, at um I think I was about 30 weeks. I was sleeping one night and I woke up in the morning, I was feeling pain in my but inside i don't want to use those words because this is youtube inside my butt and i was wondering what was going on what was going on only for me to come um to go to the toilet i put my hand in my butt and realized that i the inner part of the butt the inner was busting was as busted out i was like what what the hell where is this coming from i was in severe pain in fact there's no pain Okay, there's a lot of pain worse than that, but that pain essentially was awful. I was crying and it got it, it the word came out. The, the, it's called um what's it called? I think it's um hemorrhage. Mm, That's the right word to use because I don't want to use the actual word, which is okay. Let me just use it. It's called pie. So it was pregnancy induced pie. It was extremely painful. The pie got infected and he started having like gathering pus and on top of that on top of the pus that was gathering it was not it was not inflammated it was not causing me severe pain i went through hell apparently the weight of my baby pushed down because my baby was really big my baby was big it pushed down on my um the veins there and it caused that to happen it was hell as in i cried I cried. Everything they were giving me wasn't working. Eventually, what worked was sit bath. I kept having sit bath for a couple of weeks before the pain relieved me. In fact, this pregnancy, when I thought pregnancy has shown me sugar, this pregnancy was on its leg on its own. Everything was difficult. Everything was difficult. Everything was so bad from the beginning to the end. And I just want to thank God that it ended well because imagine going through all this pain, my back, and then I couldn't even sit. My shoulders, my ribs, my in us my everywhere was in pain and only for me to now come out and i didn't have a baby it would have been the worst tragic and i don't think i would have recovered for it, from it so i just want to thank god that you ended well so don't forget to go to the next video to watch um the part two of which is my best story thank you guys for watching i always beg you i'm begging you again please ask your friend tag your friends show your friends refer everyone to my page thank you